Victor and its dealers present Bert Hilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players, with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Kook! What? Where are you? I'm getting dressed. Well, hurry up, Kook. For heaven's sakes, we've got to leave in a few minutes. Gracious sakes, honestly, wouldn't you know that fella? Oh, where's Fran? She's down at the club making finger sandwiches. Well, I hope she gets everything made properly. Oh, how about the rest of the kids? Are they ready? I don't know. Don't ask me. No, and I'm trying to memorize my speech. Oh, Kukla, should have memorized that. It's just the whole trouble. It's the whole thing. Unless I organize things around here, nothing ever gets done. Honestly, I posted a schedule on the bulletin board, and I said, Baz at such and such a time, a hair comb at such and such a time. Kook, did you comb your hair? Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> it's a waste of time. Oh, it's ridiculous. That's the whole trouble. That's just the whole trouble. How about you? Did you take your bath yet? <gasps> no, forgot. <gasps> Gracious sakes. Ooh. 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 Too hot. <laughs> Too cold. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Nothing like a great hot bath just to relax you all over, I tell you. <sighs> now, I hope everything's ready. The finger sandwiches, Fran's taking care of those. Madame Ogopus is going to sing the opening song. And uh, now let me see. The table setting. Cecil, Bill, and Beulah Witch are doing the table setting. Who's going to lead the grand march? Oh, dear, I suppose. Well, Kukla and Fran better do that, I guess. I'll be just sort of the MC. Oh. oh, this is great. You can say everything you want to about a shower, but there's nothing so relaxing as a hot tub. Oh. <laughs> Doggone thing. Cook! Next time you use this tub, put the soap back in the dish. I got it. Didn't need to wash my hair at all today. Cook! We got a clean towel. I thought you were going to organize everything. I forgot to bring a towel. Well, just a minute. I need a clean towel. Cook, where's my underwear? Oh, Ollie, I don't know. Don't worry me about those things. Here. Well, you got to help me. Don't talk with your mouth full. Better step out of the tub. Oh, I'm dripping. Oh, that feels good. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, down my back. Oh, <laughs> it will stop it, you tickle. Oh, I'm really worn out, Coop. I'm just worn out. Look. The party's for me tonight, not for you. After all, I'm the one that should be worn out. Have you got your speech memorized? Your big speech? Well, I didn't know that I was going to make a speech. You've got to have your speech memorized, Kook. Everybody at the Actors Club, are, they're very important actors, and they want you to, they've got to listen to a good speech. Well, I know, but they're just going to give me a, an honorary something or other. And... It's very important that you have a big speech made. What are you going to wear? I don't really know yet. Well, I want you to wear your very best clothes and look very sharp. Wash the tub out for me, will you, Coop? Where's the bath powder? I don't know. Uh, this is the handiest little tub. Everything's set. Lynn! Yeah? You all set for tonight? All set, Ollie. Don't forget, now, when we go in, you... I don't want to tell Kukla this, because this is part of the big surprise. Uh, but you give the signal. All right. Uh, it's a whistle, see? You whistle the signal, uh -huh. and then, uh, uh, then the band starts playing, uh -huh. and then Phil Lord, who is the president of the Actors Club, rolls down the big red carpet, uh -huh. and then everybody bows low and says, All hail! All hail! All hail what? All hail television, all hail a glorious era. What's this all about, Lynn? Yeah? What was that? Well, all hail business. He didn't finish, I, I really don't know. Something about red carpets and... That's oh, all. red carpets, oh, sure. The vice president must be visiting somewhere. <laughs> Shh, now don't give it away. How about you, Jack? You all ready at the piano? Got all the music lined, Got all the music lined up. Don't forget, Madame Ogopus opens with an aria from uh, Faust, the jewel song. Then after that, uh, oh, right after that, Beulah Witch and Cecil Bill do a modern dance called uh, Kukla, uh, the greatest actor in television. Then after that, you do a solo, which lasts about... Uh, Ooh, 12 seconds. Keep yourself within 12 seconds. <laughs> then, um, let me see what happens. The welcoming committee makes their address. And then uh, we've got, oh, oh yeah, Madame Ogopus sings another aria. She sings, uh, Mi Chiamano Mi Mi, or something like that, from the opera, uh, oh dear, what is that opera? Uh, La Boheme, that's the one. And then after that, Fletcher Rabbit gives a talk on gardens. No! <laughs> I'm losing my mind. No, he just gets up and he's going to do it. He's going to do a jig. 
Got that, Jack? A little jig. An Irish jig. No, a rabbit jig. Doing a rabbit jig. See, I know Dave Garraway's going to be there, and I know, I know Connie Russell and all the bunch from the Garraway show. I know that, because they're going to sing a big... That's when the chorus comes in. Well, I suppose I should tell you what this is all about. It's so exciting. Tonight, Kukla's being made... Oh, our little... Our buddy. Our sweet little Kukla. Honestly, I can hardly say this without crying. <laughs> Our little buddy Kukla is going to be made the uh, an honorary member, the first honorary member of the Chicago, uh, well, it's called the Actors Club of Chicago, very smart club here in Chicago, Illinois, USA. And uh, our little buddy Kukla, we used to do shows down there long before we were eating. We were doing shows down there. <laughs> and uh, and they all the fellas banded together, all our fellas and girlfriends down there, and they're making Kukla an honorary member. And Fran's over there making the finger sandwiches. That's why she's not here tonight. Dear, I hope she gets everything made all right. Oh, well, I guess I'll go downstairs and see if I can pick up a little bit. Oh, Cecil Bill. Cecil Bill. Are you dressed yet? Dressed for what? For the occasion. Come up here. Oh, Cecil Bill, not the same old sailor suit. Got beautiful clothes hanging in the closet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. You like those clothes. Well, I need your help right now. Feel my chin. How about it? Ooh. Sure it's rough. Go get the razor. I do too shave. I don't care whether you never saw me or not. I shave. I do too have whiskers. Not there. No, stop it. <sighs> Getting out of control. What's going on here? Oh, Cook, I can't turn off. Cook, boss, running away with it. Well, there goes Cecil Bill. <laughs> I never knew an electric razor would fly like a broomstick. It did. <sighs> He's a vapor trail, too. Well, I guess the only thing to do is send Beulah Witch out after him. Oh, cool. What was all the noise about? I was shaving. You were what? You heard me shaving. Ollie, you've never shaved before in your life. Well, I just thought it was about time. But you, you don't have any whiskers. Doesn't matter. A well-groomed man always is clean-shaven. You know, you really think it was his evening instead of mine. <laughs> I guess it really is, because even though they're, they're making me an a honorary member, I guess really just because of Ollie and all the rest of them, that really it would be, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be receiving that honor if it weren't for them, because an actor is no good without his supporting cast. Uh, an actor's no good without a, without a good play. And an actor's no good unless he has people to act with. And a place to act. 
I suppose I should be grateful to everybody. I wonder if he's serious about my doing a speech. I suppose I should have some sort of a speech of acceptance. I don't know what to wear. I'll ask Madame Ogopus. She's very good at that sort of thing. Madame Ogopus! Madame Ogopus, are you busy? Are you dressing? No, darling, I'm all ready. Oh, your mink coat tonight. How beautiful. Thank you, darling. Thank you. It's a little warm, don't you think? I don't care how warm it is. I got it, and I'm going to wear it. Oh, you smell just wonderful. Thank you. New clothes that I'm wearing. What can I do for you, dear? I was wondering what I should wear. Well, I really don't know what to advise you. Now, if you were a girl, I could advise you, but I, I don't really know what to tell a young man to wear. You just have to use your own good judgment. I could tell Beulah Witch what to wear, though. Why? What's the matter? Oh, really, Kukla? You were going to this great signal honor to you tonight. And what's, what's happened? Beulah Witch, hair down, screaming, she'll go out in that silly old basic black dress of hers. And <laughs> <laughs> she won't even put on pearls or anything. It's, it's ridiculous. She, and, and no wrap, no coat or anything, honestly. It, it isn't up to the stands, standards of the Kukopolitan players. We've got to make a good showing tonight. After all, actors, even if they don't eat, they, they always look good. It's a, one of the traditions of the theater. Well, I'd like to help if I could, but I just don't know what to... Beulah's uh, very delicate, very sensitive. I know she is. Well, we'll see. We'll see, but believe me, don't expect me to be talking to her tonight. I won't have anything to do with her if she looks like the usual fright she does. Not very kind. No, but it's true. I could make a speech now. I wonder who, I wonder who would be down at the Actors Club tonight. I wonder which of my friends would be down there. You know, it's kind of wonderful down there. Practically, all my friends down there watch the show every night. And a long time ago, when I was first starting out in, in acting, uh, I used to just go down there and kind of practice with some of my actor friends and get advice from them. Now that I'm uh, on the television and everything. They, they kind of watch me, and it's kind of exciting. I know, I was down there just the other night. I walked into the living room, and uh, it was, well, it was, it was in the afternoon, actually. It was, it, was just, it was a couple of days ago. And I walked into the living room, and there were a couple of friends of mine sitting there just as calm and peaceful as you please. Uh, it was Joe Lockwood. He helps us with our costumes and Cucopolitan Courier. And there was Jack Fashionado over on the right there. And they were just sitting there in front of our little RCA Victor... Uh, television receiver down there in the living room, and uh, just watching the, the blank screen, I couldn't figure it out. It was early in the afternoon, as a matter of fact. And, and boys, hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> That's good. Just sitting there, huh? Just waiting. <laughs> uh -huh. No picture in the screen. No picture in the screen. <laughs> waiting for the ball game? No. Waiting for a... Craft theater? No. Waiting for howdy doody? <laughs> <laughs> waiting for um waiting for a streetcar? <laughs> no. Waiting for Cuckoo Fat and Oh, well, you're gonna have kind of a long wait, I think. Oh well, you're patient. Well, while we're waiting, let's take a good look at our fine RCA that your television receiver there. That's a beautiful one, just one of many fabulous RCA Victor television receivers. That's a 12 and a half inch picture tube. So, and you know, that's an ensemble. It comes all together. The, that's a little table and the table model receiver all together. And so, a very handsome design, don't you think? Proved eyewitness picture synchronizer. And there's a little phono jack in the back, so you can plug in a 45 record player. That's just like a... Like many, most of the RCA Victor television receivers have a little place where you can plug in the 45 in the back. And the, and the antenna was, is built right in. All oh, those fellas, just think how patient they are. Sit, they're sitting there all afternoon with their eyes really glued to the receiver. Just glued to the... Not so literal, boys! Not honest. Well, there'll be people like that that I'll be speaking to. I don't know what to do. Ollie, talk to me. What do you want me to talk about? What'll I wear? Just what'll I wear? Cook, look, I can't give any more advice. Why don't you ask Dave Garraway? Well, he's an astronomer. 
I know, but he knows about stars. He knows about uh, about baseball. And he knows about fashions. He's always a very well-groomed fellow, well-dressed. Talk to him. I'm busy. I'm trying to organize the program. Where is he? He's out there waiting to go with us. Dave, are you out there? Yeah, I'm not far away. Would you come in? Hello, Doc. I, I hate to bother you with all these problems, but are you coming to the club tonight? Sure. Sure. You got problems? What's the matter? Well, you know, they're, they're gonna, I'm going to be made an honorary member, and I don't know what to wear. Well, you're so beautiful, I don't think you have to worry very much. Of course, it is nice to be well-groomed. Well, what be? And I it is nice to be right in fashion. Well, that's what I thought, but I don't know exactly what to wear. Well, I'd recommend, Coop, that uh, you stay right with the very latest mode, because you can stand it. You've heard of what the King of England's been wearing lately, haven't you? Uh, well? Plaid tartan, uh, oh, dinner jacket. Plaid tartan? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have, I have a plaid tartan. Well, if you can just push it around to get a dinner jacket. Oh, wait, can it. you wait just a second? Sure. Just a minute, I'll be. I have it right back, backstage, but I didn't think it was quite right to be wearing for. Oh, it's the very latest thing. They're selling them in New York. <laughs> <coughs> the very latest thing. <laughs> that uh, turn around. Oh, that's going to create quite a little revolution at the Actors Club. Think I should wear this? Don't wear anything else. Wear that. Think it'd be good? Uh, unique. Oh. They, they will have never seen anything so exquisite at the Actors Club tonight. I know, but I don't... I wouldn't like to talk to them with a hat on. I don't like this ensemble without a hat on. I'll try something else. Well, uh, you might try something a little uh, exceedingly conservative, then. You, you might uh, just black or white tie. Try that. I might try my cape and high hat. You know, if we're worried about Beulah Witch because she isn't, she isn't dressed at all. Nobody knows what she's going to wear, and she looks so frightful most of the time. Hello, kids. <laughs> Hello, David. <laughs> How are you, dear? <laughs> Lover. Oh, look at that. Dear, that's ermine, isn't it? You bet. <laughs> Real ermine. You bet. Oh. Guess who's going to throw up? She sees this. <laughs> <laughs> and look, oh. I got my name inside too. Where? Oh, On that corner of the camera. Oh, oh, right here. Right sure. there. Beulah Witch. Marty and Connie, Connie Tucker made this for me. You know Connie Russell. Uh huh. She sings on your show. Do you know her? Sings so good. Nice girl. Well, her husband yeah. Marty Tucker made this for me. By golly, that girl's <laughs> not going to outdo me. I'm going to really swing tonight. <laughs> You're a vision I'll, of dreamy delight. I'll see you at the club. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'll be by the punch bowl. <laughs> <laughs> In this case, let them come to me. <laughs> oh, did you Who see that? Who was up there? That I was can't... the greatest shock I've had in some delight. What's this? Well, I can't get into the sleeves. Oh, yeah, I'll grew them a little. This is a sport coat. Yeah, that's a, a kind of a... Oh, is it a coat? Yeah, I thought it was one of those Tattersall vests that they're wearing. No, it's a, it's a, it's a coat. You could uh, wear a Tattersall vest under your sport coat, you know, in real big checks, sort of a plaid tartan. Well, I think maybe I'd better go a little more formally. Yeah, why don't you just put on soup and fish? I could do that. You think that'd be all right, Dave? White tie, long tails. Maybe oh. you could borrow some of the ermine from dealers, don't you? Oh! Literally! Did you see that? What? Whatever do you mean? Did I see what? Uh, oh, really? Yes! You look very nice. I never thought that girl could look so stunning in my life. Well, I must hand it to her. I must hand it to her, really. Beulah, darling, wait for me. I want to stroll down the avenue with you. Oh, she's divine. <laughs> Go your own way, dear. I've got a gentleman friend helping me. <laughs> oh, now that's more like it. Oh, that yes. Very svelte. That's what you are. Do you think I should do a big, complicated speech? Or do you think I should do something kind of uh, well, quiet or... Something formal it's like... It's the actors' club, you know. They, they breathe from the diaphragm, those actors. They take it all very seriously. I know. You remember what uh, Shakespeare said? Uh, what? Maybe you should follow his advice on uh, how to make a speech. Uh, speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of our players do, I'd leave the town cry out, spake my lines. Like that, the sort of important one. That sounds pretty good. Can you do that? Speak the... What is it? Speak the speech? Speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you. Speak the... Get Phil Lord to do that. Speak. Could he do that? Oh, Speak. Speak the speech. Speak the speech. 
coop. Dave. Yeah. What's next? I have been thinking this thing over. I think that I was a little mistaken. I think this uh, formal speech and, oh, you know, Shakespeare and everything, that's fine for other people, but Kukla, look, look what's, I want you to see this. This is on yeah. the TV Guide. This is from the East. See, this week's TV Guide is a little thing in there, and it says, the TV Guide. Oh, yeah. oh, in here. No, yeah. inside, yeah. Kind it's, as Kukla. Kind as Kukla. I want you to read that now. I want you to take it over oh, and read that it. pretty? The little article says, kind as Kukla, and I think it's so lovely that I, it made me think that maybe Kukla, instead of being all formal and stiff and everything, he should just be himself and say thank you and sing a little song or something. I think that's fine. Right. Thanks, Dave. Thank Thanks, you. Dave. Will we see you later? I'll bet you. Good. What should I do? Coop. I was thinking it'd be nice if maybe, well, like you, you might accept the, the award and then you, you'd bow and shake hands with Phil and then you ought to sing a little song. Some song that's your favorite. Well, let me see. There's one that Jack Fashionata wrote for me that kind of expresses everything that I feel. Why don't you try that one? All right, I'll sing it for Franny and for Nanny and for Archie. Okay. Sing it. Take a look at me and tell me what you see. Take a look at me and tell me truthfully. Would you care to make a guess that I have found my happiness in every friend I ever knew, in every little thing I do? Just a little work and then a little play. That is all I need to brighten up my day. Just how lucky can you be? And just how happy can you be? Just take a look at me. Take a look at me and tell me what you see. Take a look at me and tell me truthfully. Would you care to make a guess that I have found my happiness in every friend I ever knew? In Franny and Ollie, I do mean you. Just a little work and then a little play. That is all I need to brighten up my day. Just how lucky can you be? Just how happy can you be? Remember, in television, it's RCA Victor. This is Burr Tiltstrom. I want to thank you on behalf of Kukla and Ollie and all the Kuklapolitan characters. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago. NBC Television.